In order to address drugs and substance abuse in the country, a collaborative effort is needed to come up with proper measures. According to Malaysian Substance Abuse Councils, Raja Aziz and Suhaimi, it is imperative for the National Anti-Drugs Agency, AADK, to work with other government and non-government organizations to reduce the number of drug abusers in Malaysia. Four pillars they have to cover. Prevention, treatment and rehabilitation, uh, enforcement and also international networking. So, 83, none of these people, so-called ADK staff now, have experience or expertise in this field. So, actually, like what the government should do now is to look back at the four pillars and maybe uh, reduce it to, to for me, two is okay. Uh, ADK doing prevention and also uh, treatment and rehabilitation, but uh, have to collaborate with Kementerian Kesehatan Malaysia because uh, the addiction now is no more like traditional drugs. It, it, it involves uh, health issues, mental health. Raja Azizan believes that the government and AADK must take into consideration former drug addicts to assist in finding solutions to stop drug abuse among the population. And you are with open arms are willing to assist AADK or the uh, government, but we are never been called or they recognize what we were. We are not their competitors. We are trying to help the government because most of these NGO under Malaysian Substance Abuse Council are former addicts. They have been through, so they wanted to help their friends, but they are not given a chance. For example, like me also, my Malaysian Substance Abuse Council, we have to find money first, then we do programs. So 60% of my effort is on finding money to do programs. So if the government assists us and work hand in hand to us, yeah, we are more than obliged to help them. Right?